Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at the 1986 G.I. Joe Law, the laser artillery weapon. This was a battle station, meaning it was a small playset. Several of these were issued over the years. These were small, low price point playsets, and as such, they tended to not have a lot of features. I know what you're thinking, but it is not that law, and there is no order. Here is the box for the law. As you can see, it has this hang tag and a hole for a peg. That means it could be displayed either sitting on a shelf or hung on a peg. The box art shows the law in action with mainframe and hawk. Despite having two characters on the box, it does not include an action figure. This one is advertising the Sergeant Slaughter action figure mail away offer. Around the back of the box, there is a photo of the toy and it is pretty close to the final production model, but because of the shape of the toy and the size of the box is kind of cut off, you don't get to see the whole thing. The law was worth one flag point, which is the same as a single action figure, this was indeed supposed to be an inexpensive playset, and the features on the law reflect that. Looking at the law itself, we can see it is small. The main body is short, but it is also very wide, so it still has a pretty large footprint. The law has solid military colors with green and two shades of gray, and a few stickers here and there to add some color pops, but nothing outrageous here. It also has excellent technical detail all over. If it has any Anything that can be called an extra feature, it is just the detail that's sculpted on it. There is a gray control panel with some sticker monitors, and there is a gray seat that can fit one action figure. We will put mainframe in there since he is featured on the box art. The only real feature on the law is the cannon. It is a medium gray cannon on a dark gray turret. It will rotate 360 degrees, and it will elevate and depress, and that's really all this does. This is a no-frills playset. It gives you no extras at all. It does keep the cost low. Every kid could afford this, but there are no removable panels or foot pegs or anything like that. Even so, I would definitely have this outside of my G.I. Joe headquarters defending against Cobra attacks. It has really only one function, but it does it well enough. That was my quick look at the 1986 G.I. Joe Law. I hope you enjoyed it. I have full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews on this channel. Please subscribe to the channel and check out my extensive back catalog of G.I. Joe reviews. You can find me on social media, on Facebook and Twitter, and I have a website, hcc788.com. Patreon is how I am able to continue doing these videos. If you'd like to support the channel, that's a great way to do it. I'll be back soon with a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review. I will see you then, and until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.